Um, you'd already had that ability, I believe. So now we want to add test page faculty to uh, the faculty menu. I'll add it to the staff menu because faculty menu's got a bunch of people there. So what do we do? Well, we can go. We can access it from our dashboard, going to appearance, and then down to menus. Uh, we can also go up here and go straight to menus. Now, like I said, we've got two menus, and in order to reach our menus, we've got multiple menus in this. Uh, menu, this uh, drop-down box. So we have our primary menu, the top menu on the web page. Then we have our faculty menu, which we're dealing with right now, uh, a social links menu, and our staff menu. In order to edit the menu, we need to first select it in, from this menu, this drop-down, and then hit select. So now we see we've got these folks here, <laughs> you being one of them. So we want to add our new, our new page to the menu. And now we're going to save. We know that it's been updated. Staff has been updated. So let's go back to our faculty and staff link. So this is the same menu that's populated across all of the faculty uh, information, or all of the individual member information. So we have our staff, our test faculty, test faculty page one. That's one we just created. Boom. <laughs> Hopefully that works for you. I was going to mention one other thing. And that's that you can rearrange menus however you see fit by dragging them. You can even nest menus. Uh, let's say that there's that we wanted to, that we had created. Say Susan is a uh, a category, and we had a subcategory that we wanted to place our test faculty page into. All we have to do is drag it under Susan's name. Oops. Drag it under Susan's name and then drag it over. You can see that that this uh, staff or test faculty shows up uh, underneath and now it's nested. We can even go further if we choose and nest your name underneath there. I don't know how far that goes but I don't use it very frequently other than just one level of nesting. So I don't want this to, to remain here. I'm going to go ahead and click on uh, the triangle here and open up our options. We can change how that is displayed in the menu by typing here. And since I don't want it, I'm going to go ahead and hit remove. Now I'll save the menu. And we can see that it is gone. So hopefully that gives you a, a, an idea how to, to do this, or a better idea using the same editing experience that, that you have access to, rather than the administrator uh, experience. I apologize for that. Uh, hopefully this will work out. Let me know if you have any, uh, any other questions. Thanks.